Hello guys and welcome back to Minecraft, Mindless Minecraft with me, Brazen Braden. We are in our little place, you may notice things have changed a bit. Our door has moved and we now have a trap door. I have done a little bit off camera. Uh, let me just show you quickly what all I have changed. I have tidied up the back here a little bit. There used to be a gaping hole over there, uh, which I have now covered up. And I've made a sort of entrance for our mine which goes down here. This was always here and it connected into our main mine but I never used it. I just sort of dug straight into it from in there. So we don't even need that anymore. So yeah, uh, I continued on to um, to clean the top of this area here. As you can see, nice big flat open space. I put down some chests with some wood as, some pli as supplies which I went and gathered and a ton of mud which we picked up in the process of cleaning. I had to throw some of it away because there was just too much of it. Um, killed some chickens, got some food, etc. And and yeah, so there's a I have a lot planned, and uh, and I'd like to sort of talk to you about what I've got in mind, my 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 vision. Alright, so this big flat area, we're going to have a house, a nice a nice log sort of house over here. We'll make a decent size, have a kitchen, bedroom, a study, a, a storeroom for, for sort of our supplies, and, um, so basic supplies and stuff over over sort of this area over here. Uh, could be quite quite large. And we've, so we've got a lot of space out here to play with. We are, well, I have to decide where we'll put our quarry when we get to that. In through here is going to lead into our mystical area. I don't want to go too fast, fall over the edge, but this is a nice location for some sort of magical castle thing. Um, so some yeah, where we'll do sort of spell spell based or magicy things. And uh, while uh, running around uh, exploring this little <coughs> area of mine, I want to show you this amazing little section I found which is going to be a fantastic little retreat getaway escape after a hard day's work head on over here look at this look at this little area that's locked in here by a bit of land I am seeing a, a sort of pool like a, a meant to look like a natural pool I'll clean flatten some of that I'll put out a bit of a deck maybe with some chairs and something to sit back and relax have a drink after a long day of, of slaving away, crafting and mining and building. I'm I'm seeing a waterfall coming out here, flowing down into our pool. I think it's going to be lovely. Um, and I, I also think maybe splitting the waterfall to run down here, down a side, along there, and then down over <clears throat> that edge and join up with that uh, that river over there. So that's the idea. Um, up here, I don't know yet. We do have a bit of space. Um, so maybe some sort of tower. Uh, I don't know. We can hold some sort of princess or something there. And we've got this floating mountain with random floating blocks, which is a bit strange. Um, so I don't know what to make of that or what we're going to do with that. Uh, hang on. Someone's just buzzing me on my phone. So, okay. I put them quiet there. Uh, right, so that is the initial plan. Uh, I think what we're going to do first, because I want to get building our place, our, our residence, our abode, we're going to get building that. So we're going to pull out some blocks here and just map out a sort of general idea of wh where we would like things to go. So let's just get some mud to do that. And okay, so I think we're gonna have our main house facing out this way. We're going to have it quite large, so probably I don't know. Let's plonk a block down here, uh, and we'll run this along. I don't want it to be square, uh, so we're going to we're going to mix it up a bit. This is sort of let's see. We can get a kitchen in the back. So if we pop down. Let's just pop down this is this is this is oops, it's not right. 
put that on there. So we've got a bit of a square here. Perhaps with a front door coming in here. With a... We can have some bookshelves or something along the wall here. We'll probably have a kitchen in the back. Sort of covering this area in there. And I'm quickly going to go for a kip. Because it is night and monsters will be spawning up there. I should put actually put down some torches to prevent monsters from getting to me. My bed is still hidden down here in the in the old mine that we made. Uh, no mobs spawn down here because it's pretty well lit and everything just leads to a dead end. So it's pretty safe. For now at least. I can't really sleep up there if there are mobs outside because uh, it just complains that there's creatures nearby. Ah, oh, but it's another wonderful morning in the land of Minecraft here. Okay, here's our... Oh, one's turned to grass already. Okay, so this will be a kitchen over here. This will be sort of a walk-in main area. Sort of a foyer type thing. Uh, maybe have a table set up where we can eat or something along those lines. And then we have a door... A door or maybe an archway. An archway through here that will then connect to. Let's make a, a straight wall out here. So you'll walk in through here, and we want to have a staircase that will go up. So, where shall we have that staircase? We could have this thing jutting out here. Although, we could have a room at the back here, which would be sort of a pantry. We'll have a pantry that would, uh, there would be a doorway over there that would lead into this pantry. And we'll make it about, about yay big. Okay, let's just block that off so we can see better. Okay, so this will be our little pantry area. And over here, this is a, the kitchen. It's actually quite a quite a large kitchen. We probably don't need all that much space. Let's actually move it to there. This is a three block. That should be fine, actually. Give us a grander entrance, a grand foyer. Okay, so we'll have this here come along to about here. We'll have a door into the kitchen around here. Maybe here actually. The door into the kitchen, pantry. Then this will be the archway over here. Is that right? Walk in, foyer. Archway in here, which will lead us to a staircase which we shall plonk in here. And this staircase will take us upstairs. So all we have downstairs is a pantry, <coughs> a kitchen type area. This will be your sort of entry foyer, a table, or some bookshelves, something to read. Hmm. Yes, okay. And then when we get to upstairs we will do the we will do the main bedroom. There'll be a study up there and a a little storage area, I think, and then maybe we'll even have an attic where we can we can dump some stuff. Just taking a sip of my coffee, freshly made, nice and hot. So, okay, let's let's get cracking. What we're going to need is to dig out the foundations first and foremost. And while I do that, I'm going to talk a bit about some of the mods which are included in this version of Ticket, Ticket Liftoff. Now, I've done some research, well, a little bit, a bit of reading, just to see what all is included in here. Uh, for those of you that do play Minecraft and have played sort of the Ticket series uh, or any of the Ticket games or seen stuff on YouTube, you will most probably be well aware of uh, Buildcraft, which is. Uh, sort of engines and your quarries, pipes, uh, machines, that sort of thing. That's included in this. Uh, hence why I keep talking about quarries. So we've got Buildcraft in here. Um, that's pretty standard stuff, not much to go into really. 
uh, some of the other things that were in here. Something uh, there's some some mods I've never heard of, so I had to look look into them a little bit. Uh, obviously, there's the galactic one, which is about space travel, but that's much more advanced stuff. We'll we'll look at that mm -hmm. when the time is right. But uh, those um those sort of portals that we saw out in the world um they are actually part of a mod called dimensional doors that's what it is dimensional doors and this dimensional doors adds this sort of portals into into pocket universes almost it's like <clears throat> imagine imagine the matrix remember the matrix uh third third matrix i believe there was a room that you needed a key to get into and that room had a long passageway of a million and ten doors which connected you to wherever uh, they connected to. It was like an infinitely long um, doorway. There's a good um, doorway. What is what's the word? A hallway. <laughs> there we go. Infinitely long hallway. Dude, I'm trying to work here. Just give me your meat. That's it. Thank you. Um, and so these dimensional they take you into an alternate dimension, and you can sort of go deeper and deeper in these dimensions, uh, something sort of like uh, Inception style. And uh, and uh, apparently there's all sorts of goodies you can that can be found. Uh, like there's traps and oh that's okay, traps and mazes and all sorts of 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 goodness like that. Am I out of Pickaxes, I am as well. Oh gosh, let's go get another one. Um, and we can make our own doors actually. If I come in here and I look for door, uh, there's a warp door, which is a sort of a step up. You you step out of the dimensional doors, and there's the dimensional door itself, which lets you, which takes you in to the dimensions. And what's really cool. Ew, sorry. Uh, what's really cool is that you can you can uh, sort of set points within the dimensions so that things link together, which means I could have a dimensional door in my house, which when I walk through it takes me to a nice passageway. Which I, this I'm going to build. This is all in my head. I'm going to build this uh, a long passageway, which I can then have many other doors connected to, and uh, they can lead to the other. Places I've built, maybe caves or something, uh, whatever, really, uh, up to the imagination. So that's going to be awesome, amazing. Um, I need sticks. Okay, and uh, and I can't wait to get into that side of things. But first, we actually need to build something. Oh wow! I feel like I've been I've been talking for hours, but I've only just started. <laughs> Sorry for you. Um, so what else was there? Oh yes, okay. I was also looking at uh, another mod called uh, Applied Ener Energistics, and these things, these Certus Quartz, uh, and the Certus Quartz dust, these come from that mod, the Applied Energistics. Now I'm not exactly sure. I don't quite understand what the mod does. I mean, they talk about this can make basic tools as well as some other things, um, but we should save them. Apparently they're you can create wep uh, weapons and tools like I just like I have before, and their endurance and uh, power is the same as iron. So why why waste the quartz when you know iron, which is much more plentiful, does the exact same job? Uh, so yeah, um, but from what I understand, it looks like oh, it's very difficult to exp to, to 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 sort of try and explain because I don't really understand it myself. Um, do you need power? To 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 power the devices in it, and you create some sort of network using uh, other device. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I don't know. I'm not even going to bother try explaining because I'm probably going to get it horribly wrong and get horribly confused in the process. Uh, you can look it up and maybe put it in layman's terms for me. Explain it nicely. <coughs> but but yeah. Okay, so we need to dig here. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll get to that in, in, in good time. Uh, what else was there? There was a, a thing called there's this thing called mist mistcraft, which is also very mystical. I've actually just started watching a video on it uh, to try and understand it a bit better. Um, and I haven't I haven't actually finished the video yet. 
So, so when I watch it, it's, it's, it's something about writing, you write pages in books and um, they they can take you to different ages or, or something, you can travel through like time in a sense. Um, something like that. Ooh, rubber wood. I didn't even know there was any rubber trees around. We actually need to go collect rubber. So that's 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 important to know. I also actually need a crafting uh, bench while we're out here. Uh, for crafting, okay. Uh, let's plonk this down. So yeah, there's a whole stack of other mods. Um, the big ones. I, I'm I'm busy looking at them one at a time just to sort of get an idea because it's still the early days. Um, so we oh my gosh it's already becoming night time disastrous you get almost nothing done you know you just you just, you just start and then the day is over <clears throat> okay we're gonna have some nice log walls methinks over here okay I should actually plonk down a couple torches which may allow me to work at night a bit Let's just plunk these down, light this area up a little bit. Hopefully keep the mobs at bay. 